Go with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, begin reading in verse 22, says this, that in reference to your former way of life, you are to rid yourself of the old self. Do you see that? You, everyone say that means me. See, in a day and age where we can identify however we want, why not choose to identify as healed? I mean, come on, that's the rage of the day, isn't it? I can identify however I want. So I choose to identify as new. I th got three people listening to me. I choose to identify as the healed of the Lord. I choose to identify as the blessed of the Lord. I choose to identify as completely new. And not just new because I got saved in 1986. I'm new since yesterday because his mercies are new every morning. There's no exhausting his goodness. And it doesn't matter how I blew it yesterday because weeping may endure for the night. But in the morning when his mercies are new, I can rejoice again because I'm encountering brand new mercies. So I choose to identify as blessed. I choose to identify as holy. I choose to identify as Christ-like. And I choose to rid myself of the old self with all of its pain, with all of its limitations. which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit. Verse 23, and that you are to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self. Do you see that? In verse, 20, in verse 22, you must rid yourself of the old self. And in verse 24, you must put on the new self. What is this? That's a choice, man. That means I got to believe the word. And the word isn't based on my feelings. The word is based upon his heavenly facts. I might feel old. But I'm renewed. See, feelings don't dictate my faith. 